أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم I am from Boys Hair Secondary School Sogam Subject Education Class 12th and our today's topic is laws of learning my dear students today we have to discuss the second law of learning and that is the law of exercise dear students as i have already told you that thorndike an american psychologist formulated various laws of learning on the basis of different experiments and these laws are divided into two heads primary and secondary laws of learning the primary laws of learning are the law of readiness law of exercise and law of effect and today we are going to discuss the law of exercise dear students the law of exercise the law of exercise is of great significance this law is also known as law of use and disuse this law is based on the proverb practice makes a man perfect thorndike explains this law as when a modifiable connection between a situation and a response is made other things being equal the connection strength is increased and when the modifiable connection is not made over a length of time the connection strength is decreased in brief we may say that if any activity is repeated again and again it is learned in a better manner and lack of repetition causes forgetfulness now education implication of law of exercise it develops good habits if good actors and actions are repeated again and again then they become habit therefore teacher must make use of this principle in mind while educating the students number second wrong and bad habits can be eradicated we observe that some children are in the habit of nail biting thumb sucking etc the teacher should also those children to repeat this habit unconsciously the underlying idea is that the child will become conscious of this mistake and avoid the same in future number 3 by doing constant practice handwriting of the students can be improved number 4 formulas and definitions in mathematics and arithmetic can be learned by practice number 5 different skills like typing shorthand painting music and dance can be developed with the help of this law in brief we may say that the law of exercise is very useful not only in the educational conditions and situations but this law is also very useful in life situations as well thank you very much